Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to my channel. My name is Alberto. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own guanciale. Guanciale is the meat you make carbonara with. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect carbonara. Guancia means cheek. This is half a pig's head. You need this part. So I'm going to cut this part out. I guess if you go to a butcher, like you can get this part. You don't have to buy a half pig's head for this. And for the spices, you need some sea salt, pepper, bay leaf, some juniper berries. I'm gonna use some chili, some pepperoncino, and some sugar. I'm using cane sugar. You take your pig's head, this is half. I've never done this before. It seems pretty straightforward. I guess I go in from here. Follow the bone. This is the part that I'm gonna use. Now I need to clean this piece right here. It looks good. I'm just gonna scrape the skin a little bit to get rid of all these impurities. So I'm happy with this now. So let's get on with the next step. So I'm gonna mix all these spices and sugars and salt together into like a rub. I'm gonna rub the meat, put it into the bag and vacuum seal it. In here I have some of the chilies, some of the bay leaves, pepper and juniper. I'm gonna crush it now. I'll add some sugar and salt just to combine it. <coughs> pepper in my nose. Now you prepare your vacuum bag. This is what it looks like when it's vacuum sealed. All I need to do is mark it. Today's date is 22-4. So I'm gonna leave this here now for a week. This is my little special fridge. Where I keep all my ferments and stuff like that. So that was the first step of making the guanciale. See you in seven days. Okay, so it's been seven days now. It's time to check the guanciale. It's definitely a lot firmer. Let's go into the kitchen and cut it up. Ah, oh, the smell is amazing. A lot firmer. This is the skin. This is the Umai dry aging bag. It's actually not a bag, it's a membrane that releases moisture but doesn't let anything in. And like that, it's vacuum sealed. So let's go and put it back in the fridge. See you in seven weeks. It has now been six weeks since I checked the guanciale after I put it in the membrane. So let's go and see if it's done. Okay. 
feels pretty hard, to be honest. I don't know about this. It smells good though. Let's go in the kitchen and cut it open. Let's go. It smells beautiful. Oh. Check this out. Mamma mia. Oh, can't wait to cook with this. Okay, so I'm gonna get all my ingredients ready. Now that I have this amazing guanciale done, it's time to make spaghetti because today we're gonna make spaghetti alla carbonara. So for the sauce, you need egg yolks, parmesan cheese, and black pepper. I'm gonna toast the black pepper. And with a pinch of black pepper. Make the pasta dough. 100 grams of flour, one egg. We have some cracking in the black pepper. Now we turn off the heat. You don't want to burn the pepper, you just want to bring out the natural oils. Now I'm gonna let this rest for half an hour and I'm gonna continue with the sauce. I'm gonna crush these black peppercorns. Oh, it smells super nice. Okay, so for the sauce, I'm gonna crack two eggs. I'm gonna... <coughs> Excuse me. I think I got some pepper in my nose. And I'm separating the egg yolks from the whites because we only need the... <coughs> we only need the yolks. <coughs> Shit. Two yolks. Two yolks separated. And to the egg yolks, I'm gonna add some Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna whisk this. Maybe some black pepper. Eh, I'm gonna put my apron on. Girlfriend would kill me if I spilled under this shirt, so better to be safe than sorry. Sauce, I'm gonna put to the side for now. This cheese, I'm gonna eat. And let's cut the guanciale. I'm gonna cut the skin off. Wow, I can't tell you how proud I am of this. I mean, check this out. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Can you see it? Okay, so we're gonna use a special tool for this, or should I say instrument, because it's called chitarra, which means guitar. They have strings all over here. I'm gonna place the dough on top of this. I need to modify it a bit so it fits. And I'm gonna tighten the strings. 
and then they should fall down when I roll it like this. Pronto. Allora. Lo vedi? Che vedo. Beautiful. Wow. It's perfect. Eh. Okay, but I'm filming right now. Can uh, can I call you when I'm done? Ciao. Good luck. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao. But look at this. Spaghetti alla chitarra. Is it enough though? No, it's not. What am I even saying? Okay. Now it's enough. Let me put the guanciale. Okay, so the guanciale is nice and crunchy. I'm gonna pass them through a sieve like this. Put the pasta water back. Taste it now. Perfetto. In this pan, I'm gonna go in with some of the fat. And this right here is some uh, pasta water from last week when I cooked pasta. I saved it because it's full of starch and uh, we're gonna use it in the sauce to make it super, super, super creamy. So we need to have everything ready because this goes super fast. I'm gonna whisk my eggs. Add just a splash of boiling water in here. Or uh, pasta water, I mean. Okay, in with the spaghetti. One more minute. Okay, so spaghetti is done. Swirl it around, add the yolks and the uh, cheese. Now, I'm gonna add one splash of this starchy water. Some Parmesan cheese. I think it looks amazing. More black pepper. Add some of the guanciale inside here. Now it's time to serve. Voila, more pepper. I mean, come on, come on. Look at this, look at it. So my camera keeps overheating. There's something wrong with my camera. It always overheats when it can't, like carbonara, you need to eat it immediately. And now I have to put my camera in the fridge to keep it cool, while my dish is sitting there waiting on me to be tasted. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're ready. That is the best carbonara I've ever had. And with my own guanciale. Delicious. Mm, it's spicy, it's crunchy, it's full of flavor. It's that perfect combination when it's crispy, but also juicy from the fat. And not to talk about the spaghetti. Look at the color. I mean, the eggs, look, it's super, super yellow. And it's perfectly cooked, toasty black pepper flavor and the creamy sauce. Delicious. I have nothing to complain about. I didn't expect this. Well, that's it for today's video. 
if you liked it, you must give this a like. You must give this video a like. And uh, you have to subscribe to the channel. And you also have to hit the notification bell so you get notifications whenever I upload... When, how, how is that so hard to say? Whenever I upload videos. So you get notified. I mean, so you don't miss videos like this. So thank you very much. Take care. Ciao! I'll make you move like your boots are on fire. I'll make you... Oh. Helvete! Vad gott!